Hey, what's going on everybody? Big Country here. Welcome back to Country Living. And today we're going to be doing my full final thoughts on the Smoke G Priv and the Peerless RDA. Well, if you noticed in my past few videos that my background has kind of changed uh, a little bit in the angles because you know I'm, I'm still in the middle of getting my office uh, together. I ain't even got my hat on today. I'm looking rough. Time for a haircut and a shave. But uh, today I, I have been using this for four or five days now. And I feel like I got a pretty good grasp on what I like and what I don't like on it, whether it's good or not. But today I went to my local vape shop and I picked up another a big bottle sample. This is good old custard it's got a nice cinnamon flavor cinnamon cinnamon cinnamony flavor it's really good it's really good i have i've had uh i think it's my second big bottle you know strawberry milk wound up being knocked off zero's milk um good old custard man it's really good i, I saw it on the website and i was wanting to try it but i didn't want to buy it on the website I, granted i pay like eight bucks more from my, in my local shop but i like to support local when i can so, uh, and I've got so many juices. I don't know why I'm buying juices. I, I do know why I'm buying juices because I, I buy what I know I like or what I, I buy what I think I'm going to like. <laughs> Every, all the juices I get to buy except for just a couple of handfuls of different companies. That, that's beside the point. That's a whole nother video. We'll talk about that shit later. But I do, I do want to point out, oh, uh, uh, good old custard by Big Bottle. It's really good. Real nice cinnamon. Now back to the RDA and the G-Priv here. Nice, subtle cinnamon flavor. Nice. Now, most people do pros and cons. Now, I'm kind of, you know, I'm kind of not like, I don't want to call my, my little area pros and cons is because uh, it's all relative pretty much. I mean, you know, everybody's views and opinions are different on some things. Somebody might not like one thing, but people might like the other. I'm just going to, I'm just going to call this my likes and dislikes. This is personal, my opinions of what I like about each of these things and what I don't like. Then we're going to go over the actual menu system of the G-Priv. What I'm going to do, how I'm going to do this is I'm going to do my likes and dislikes on the RDA. Then I'm going to do the menu system on the G-Priv. And then I'm going to go my likes and dislikes on the G-Priv. Now the Peerless likes. It looks cool as hell. I mean, it's nice and clean. I like the, the low profile drip tip. It's acrylic. The airflow, nice adjustable airflow. You got nine holes on each side, which is more than enough. If you love the airflow, you're gonna love this thing. You can restrict it as well down to three or down to three on each side, which gives you six. And it's really enough, it's, it's, it's plenty of restriction for clouds, uh, wide open for great flavor or better flavor, minimize it. The acrylic top cap, it doesn't get hot. You would think being, it's not super low profile, but it is pretty close to the coils. You would think being that close, it would get hot. It, it doesn't it doesn't get hot at all the sides may get a little warm but it doesn't get hot to the touch but anything that has heat applied to it will get warm now this is made of aluminum aluminum doesn't conduct heat very well so that's good that's a real good thing i like it because it doesn't get that hot actually the spit back from the vapor on my lips is a little hot it's hotter than anything else because I just put some fresh uh, oil in there, so of course, you know, when, until, until it gets completely absorbed, then you have some spit back. I like it that you can get, that it comes with a replaceable a replaceable top cap in case for those of you who want to use your your um, wide bore drip tips because this one doesn't come off. Uh, you have to change it out for the black one, which is right here. You easily just pull this off or un unscrew it rather, pull it off. And you can slide the other one on. Let's just go ahead and do that. I haven't even used this thing yet. O ring is really stiff on that one. And wide bore, wide bore's on there. Whew. Oh, really good. And as I mentioned, it's got great adjustable airflow. The O rings on here are nice and snug. I mean, it's not, you're not going to pull this thing apart by holding it like this. And it's still easy enough to just pop off. It's nice and snug. The O-rings are just perfect O-rings for this. What I have figured out is 
going to go ahead and put coils in this thing. I got, I got a fiber, I got a double, um, I got fused Claptons and they're six wraps, six wrap fused Claptons in here, dual, dual coil. And I got them sharing the two middle holes. So, and, and you don't have to do no stretching, nothing like that at all, because it is kind of hard to go from the far right to the opposite left middle on both sides when you go to dual coil this thing. You have to stretch it over and all that stuff. It can be hard. So this can fit big coils and small coils, and it's even got the smaller holes, the smaller slot hole up above the middle hole coils, the middle hole for the coils, to where you can do like single wire, single wire builds. Uh, and, and just really small builds. So you got multiple build options on this thing, which is really, really, really awesome. Because everybody does different things. And this juice well holds a lot of juice. I mean, I think I'm probably getting a full two and a half, maybe even three mils of juice in here. I know, all I know is I got this big old, you know how big these 120 glass drippers are, right? I use about a half one to saturate my cotton. Then I put another whole one for the rest of it and maybe even another half. So I'm putting about two full of those big old glass 120 mil glass drippers in this thing. So that's gotta be what, at least two or three mil, at least, really nice. And the grub screws in this thing are fucking bulky. They're tough, they're tight as hell. I hate grub screws, but these work well. They don't strip out. I'm not saying they can't, I'm just saying you can put pressure on these things and they will hold. They will hold, not strip. They're really, really good grub screws. I, I, I prefer flat top, or I prefer Phillips, but I, I usually hate grub screws, but these are really, really nice bulky grub, grub screws, real strong. And it comes with a squonking pin for all you squonkers, which I'm getting ready to get a squonker. I'm just waiting on uh, one of my favorite reviewers to suggest what he thinks is a good first time squonker. But if you have an opinion on that, let me know in the comments as well. So this can be used on a squonker. You can do single coil building here. Because the airflow is, a, you can adjust it to where you can just do a single, put it in single coil mode. What means you'll have one side airflow open, the other side airflow blocked. So you can do a single coil building here for you single coil lovers. Speaking of single coil, let me tell you my little single coil story. I was, uh, the other night, I was out working. I worked for like 18 straight hours, had no time to do anything. I didn't have a chance to get home. And one of my coils, because when I first put a build in here, it was just uh, 12 wrap. 24 gauge nichrome 80 coils, it's all dual. I put them in, just to, you saw that on the video. But one of them, I had them, I don't know, I was tinkering with it or something, trying to adjust the height of it. One of them shorted out on me, one of them burned up. So I didn't have any tools on me, and I was like, shit, how am I gonna freaking, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go Nick, I'm gonna go Nick Fiend in here shortly. I'm gonna have a fucking bad day. But I was able to yank that one out. It, granted, it still had a little metal parts under the screw, so I didn't, have any, I didn't have any screws, had no tools, had nothing, had no access to do anything. So I was able to wiggle it, wiggle it, wiggle it until it broke on both ends. Granted, I had this little piece of wire still under the screws, but I was able to use it in single coil that night. And I knocked it down. I even did a little Instagram little shot. 40 watts is about all I was able to do because it, it was written at a 0.7, uh, 0.7 ohm. But 40 watts, man, 40 watts on a 0.7 ohm coil, I was getting massive clouds. And I'm sorry about the echo. You, I know you're hearing some reverb, some echo or whatever. My office is still empty. I haven't got nothing on the walls. I've got a bunch of stuff ordered, some acoustic panels that my, my, my audio quality will, will get better. You'll, you'll hear me better here soon. I'm still waiting on uh, my orders. And the price. The price of this thing is only $23.95. <clears throat> now let's talk about dislikes. The material of this thing is aluminum, but I don't feel this is relative. To me, personally, I don't have a problem with it, but some people may, so that's why I, it's, it needs to be mentioned. I don't have a big problem with it. I'm just pointing it out, like I said, just for some people that may not like aluminum. I don't have a problem with this at all because it's pretty thick, as you can see. Look at how thick the walls are. They're pretty thick. I mean, I can't, I mean, I, I don't know how strong you have to be or how strong I am, but I don't want to put enough pressure on here to see if I can bend this, but I'm applying pretty good pressure now. I can feel it giving a little bit, but I, I'm not gonna put enough on here to bend it. I'm pretty sure I could bend it, but people may not like aluminum, but I don't have an issue with it for a couple of reasons. One, it doesn't conduct heat. And I think aluminum coloring is kind of cool. It's not quite as vibrant and as bright as others, and it's not quite like out there. I think aluminum coloring is better, <clears throat> or the color on aluminum is, uh, looks good. As some people have mentioned the gold plating chipping off in their well. I haven't experienced that yet, but that may be a problem for some people. 
Um, but, uh, uh, but I haven't experienced that yet. I've only been using this about a week though. So maybe after some time, I guess the juice can degrade the, uh, the gold plating in the bottom. But uh, I, right now I haven't got that problem yet. But I'm just mentioning that just in case uh, I have, you know, you have that issue to expect it because some people have talked about that. Another reason why I like the aluminum better is I don't get that, I don't always get the metal, the metal taste when I'm vaping another product. Like, like to give you an example, the Medusa. When it gets warm, I taste metal in my vapes. And I think it's because of the stainless steel. My uh, troll, I didn't do it because it it's black. Um, I don't have any metal taste in this or my other RDTAs or the, you know, the, uh, the, the, the Smoke Tech RDTA or Skyhook rather. Um, so maybe it's because of the stainless steel that you're getting that metal taste. I don't know why I would get it, but I do notice I don't get a metal taste from it. Now, suggested improvements that I may have that I have for this is maybe, you know, even though these grub screws are really rugged and really tough, maybe add Phillips screws. We'll give you the option for Phillips screws. Just as rugged and just as tough, but seeing as how these are beefy as hell, that's probably not a, not a must, but a uh, preference I would love for uh, Phillips. But that's it. That's the only downsides I have for this Peerless. Other than that, you know, you heard all the likes. I love, I like this thing. I really like this thing. I like it a lot. Now let's talk about the G-Priv. First, I wanna just kinda of show you the menu system here. <clears throat> well, actually, first let me talk about this silicone. Remember the silicone cap I said I wasn't really sure about? I did notice that on some other color designs that the button itself is the color you choose and the rest of it's pretty much black or what, depending on your color. So I kind of get the uh, silicone cover now and it does help out for grip. Since I got the stainless steel, it's all the body stainless, but the button's black. So it really didn't make sense for this particular model, but I do understand the reasoning for it because it does give you some grip. And you know, it's cool, I like it. Now this menu system, you have a button up here, which if you just press it, it puts it, uh, puts it in stealth mode, which helps you with your battery, okay? Now in order to lock the fire key, whether the screen is on or off, You have to hit three times on the fire key and it, lock, it locks your fire button. And when you try to do it, it'll say fire, fire button's locked. Now, now it's unlocked, right? So now you can, you can fire. Notice the little padlock screen right there above. Oh no, it's a little, 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 where uh, There's a padlock right there. Let me try to do it down towards the bottom here. There, you can see it right there. If you press and hold this button, it goes away. So now you can touch the screen. Oh, hang on. While that padlock is on, you can't do anything on the screen at all. You can't, okay, here's the menu access key right there. Can't do it because it's locked. Press and hold the button, it unlocks. Now you can go into the screen. Now all it is is VW mode, TC mode, your max pull, and your settings. Max pull, you can set your max puff, however many puffs you want. The device will cut off when it gets to that amount of puffs. Now, when you go into VW mode, your effects, you can go minimum, uh, let's see, drop down the menu. You can go minimum, soft, normal, or hard, or max when it comes to the actual strength. Plus, you got a slider for your wattage. And then, in order to turn that on, you have to make sure activate down here is selected. Right to the bottom right. And when you go to TC mode, if you look on the TC mode, the very bottom there where it says activate and it's turned off, that means TC mode is turned off. So if I wanted to go to TC mode, I go through each of my settings and set it up the way I want it, then you hit that bottom when I turn it on. I don't do TC mode because I don't know TC mode very well. You go into settings and it just has ID, like device ID, and then a uh, model number, and then you can set your screen timeout, you can set the time, or you can do a factory reset. Now when it comes to setting the time, it's pretty weird because you got the year, month, and then date. Then when you set the time down below it, you got the hours, minutes, and seconds. You have to use these arrow keys to navigate through it, which is kind of, eh. Okay, so that's pretty much basically the, the, the menu in a nutshell. Because right here, you know, touching this screen, you can't do shit to it, really. In order to access menu, you have to do that right there. 
uh, I'm back out by hitting the fire button. Now, if you don't forget to lock, if you don't forget to lock it, and you're going to take a puff, your hand can possibly. I just lied to y'all. I just learned something new. You can change your wattage from the screen by tapping left and right. I just learned something new. I didn't know that. <laughs> like a baby learning to walk. Yeah. But anyway, if you don't uh, press and hold to lock the screen, then you can potentially, you know, mess mess up your settings. So be sure to lock the screen. It's like a smartphone, man. Make sure you lock your damn screen. And to save your battery, just push it once, just tap it and it goes off. It'll be in stealth mode. And it does save your battery. It feels good in the hand. It's got some nice weight to it. I like it. And I've come to like this silicone wrap as well. Um, it's, 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 it's glad it's, it's good. They give it to you. It's really good. They give it to you. I don't think they should give you a screen protector as well. Um, outside of that initial packing sticker film that comes with it, they should give you a screen protector as well. Cause you get a screen protector with the alien. Why not get one with one that's actual touchscreen? I like the touchscreen technology. I mean, it's 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 good. The technology's there. They uh, as probably their first one that they did touchscreen as. I'm sure the next ones will be um, more advanced. Maybe a little bit more user friendly. Maybe even in color, they'll add some color options. Now, before you know it, they'll have Wi-Fi on these things. We'll be able to do firmware upgrades without even a USB cable. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably something out like there out there right now like that, and I just don't know about it. And the price on this from from the vaporsupply.com where I got it is sixty eight ninety nine. But if you use my code country fifteen, you save like nine ten bucks off of that price. So you get it for less than sixty fucking dollars. You're not going to find this mod anywhere else for less than sixty dollars. I guarantee you that. Their link will be in the top of the description for the G Priv. I guarantee, if you can find something else for less than $60, if you can find this anywhere else for less than $60, then you've got to be a freaking store because you're getting full wholesale, wholesale price. Then, But as retail, you're not going to find one less than 60 bucks. So my link is in the description for that. Now, the dislikes on this, it does fit a 24 millimeter perfectly. The RDA proves that. I had a Medusa on here. 25 millimeter hangs over just a little bit. Just a little bit, not a whole lot, but it's just a little bit. This this needs to be a little, I think it should be able to support 25s. Because there's a lot of 25s out there, a lot of good 25s out there. So it, it needs to be able to support it. The fire button, just like the rest of them, every smoke product I fucking have, the fire button. I mean, it's got good click when you get it, but it's still, it's, it's loose. Freaking million dollar company by Smoke Tech, and every fire button that I have on every device has got some, it's loose. Come on, Smoke Tech. You know I love you, because you're the ones that help me quit smoking. But fix your damn fire buttons. The battery door. Good, strong magnets, but it shifts. It shifts while it's in your hand. Like, if you don't have this uh, silicone protector on, and, and, you, and you, know, you get a good grip, it, it, it shifts. It, it ever so slightly, but it still shifts. A little bit more attention to detail could prevent that. Just micro, micromanage and just a little more could prevent the shimmying of the battery door. Now, granted, like I said, the magnets are strong, so it's not gonna fall off. And there is, there is no rattle, no battery rattle, no break door, break door rattle, but it does shimmy, it does move, it does adjust. The menu system could be a hell of a lot better it could have done a hell of a lot better job of it. Like a little more user friendly. It doesn't have, like, it does, uh, here I'll show you. Look at the screen, watch. It'll, it records your stats, amps, and all that stuff. But then watch, it disappears like two seconds later. On the other stuff, Alien for example, it records your stats, but it also stays there until your next pull. All your stats stay there until your next pull. I don't know why they decided not to do that on this one, but it just disappears too, you know, too quick. Maybe, maybe that's important to some people. The battery use, it seems to drain the battery a lot more. Maybe because, I mean, and I use stealth mode. I never use stealth mode on my alien. I use stealth mode, but it seems to drain the batteries faster than that. Like I can go a full shift, eight hours, nine hours, 
with my alien and not have to swap out batteries. On this thing, I gotta swap out batteries at least one time before I even get back home. Now using the alien about 10 hour mark, 10, 11, mark, 10, 10, 11 hour mark, I swap out batteries. I always carry two sets extra with me, just in case. Uh, I never know how long I'm gonna work. If it's gonna be 10, 12 hours or if it's gonna be 16 to 18 hours, I just don't know. So I always carry extra batteries with me, but I do notice that I swap out earlier on this than I do on the alien. This is a fingerprint magnet, it is a touch screen. Make no mistake about it. If you're anal about that stuff, carry your microfiber, carry your microfiber cloth with you. My suggested improvements for this thing, fix the damn fire button smoke tech, please. Come on, dude, that's right. That's your biggest flaw right now that I've seen on all your devices is the fire button. My my Skyhook RDTA, my, my Skyhook RDTA, RT, RT, my Skyhook RDTA was the worst. I mean, it damn thing was awful. Even the GX350 it had some movement. The Alien had some movement. The Baby AL85 had some movement. Hell, even the V8 stick fire button wasn't uh, had had a little bit of a play in it. So there's something going on with you, your designs, and your fire button. Just a little more attention to detail, and I swear it, that would be it. You'd be a damn near flawless company. Redesign the menu. It's just, I don't know why you didn't just stick with the, uh, with this, with this menu here. This menu here worked fine. I just, I don't know why. I mean, granted it's a touch screen. I mean, you can, I'm sure you can put the same freaking menu into this thing to make it bigger and make a touch screen active and all that stuff. I mean, it, it's the, the menu you have is fine. Uh, don't know why you wanted to switch it up. That's just all my my dislikes of it, my, my improvements that I could suggest for the G Priv. So that's everything that I have, all my likes and all my dislikes for both the Peerless RDA by Geek Vape and the G Priv touchscreen 220 watt bond from Smoke Tech. I hope my voices, my opinions have helped you in a way to help you decide whether A, you wanna buy this or B, you don't wanna buy either one of these. But either way, let me know in your comments of your thoughts if you have this already or if you're going to buy it. And if you are going to buy the G-Priv, uh, then please, the Vapor Supply link will be in the top of the description. You will not find it cheaper anywhere else. I haven't. I haven't at all. I've got a great partnership with the uh, Vapor Supply. I don't get money. They don't pay me. I get a discount code, just like you. And I use the same one that you use. But I know I get good. I know what I'm getting good deals, and that's at store wide. That code was store wide. If you want accessories, if you want DIY projects, if you want mods, if you want RDAs, if you want tanks, whatever, it's 15% off store wide. So go look and see what they got. I just ordered 90 dollars worth of juices from just a little while ago. I got like nine juices coming, big bottles, 100 mil bottles, 120 mil bottles. So uh, I will be doing reviews for those as well. But like I said, I get the same discount you guys get. That's it. That's all I get from them. I don't get nothing. I mean, uh, so don't think I'm getting paid. <laughs> Cause I'm not, trust me. Anybody who actually knows me uh, knows for a fact. I know there's a couple of you viewers know me personally. So you know I'm not getting paid. I'm, I'm buying all this shit. So anyway, I hope you did enjoy my review, my, my full thoughts, my full honest opinions about both of these uh, pieces of artillery, <laughs> RDA by Peerless, and the Depriv 220 touchscreen box mod or mod from Smoke Tech. So until the next video, I do thank you for watching. And if you haven't already, click that subscribe button if you enjoyed this video. Maybe even give the video a like. All my social media is in the description, Twitter, Instagram being a big one, and Facebook. I even added my Google Plus profile, follow me there, and Instagram, which I haven't started doing much on yet, but I don't even know if I got it in my description yet, but I'll add it eventually. So anyway, until the next video, I do thank you very, very much for watching. Keep on vaping and living, baby.